you cannot choose salvation. You can be choo you could, what you can is to hunger and thirst after righteousness, and you shall be filled. There's a clue. Blessed. You know, blessed comes from the old English, blithe, which means blithe, as in blithe spirit. Carefree are those who hunger. Carefree, free, for they shall be filled. Got it. But nobody knows what the word blessed is. You think if you weave your hands over a piece of bread, it's blessed. Oh, I eat it, I'm blessed. Okay. <laughs> See, the thing is, it is something in a person you cannot put there. God can't put it there. God won't put it there. But, how can I say it? Maybe he does. Second thought, maybe he does. I have no understanding of it, so there's no point in me trying to pontificate on this. Whatever, it's a mystery to me, but you're here, and other people are not. They run to another preacher will preach to them, you know, you know, the kind of false things they're looking for, that sweet nothings in their ear. So, but what is salvation is, is it comes because of a longing. And that, this longing comes from being dissatisfied with your other longing. Because you, there's a part of you that recognizes after a while that the things of the world are not making you any better. And, and, and actually you might become more dissatisfied with the things you get. And, and frustrated because you don't get them. And there's a point where a pivotal point which says, I'm not happy with all this. I'm not happy I'm wanting it. I'm not happy getting it. And when I get it, I want more. And when I get more, I'm not happy with it. And so it comes to a point where says, something's wrong. But the minute you see that something's wrong, you'd be surprised. That's the truth. Something is wrong. That's the first something wrong you see. That's the most important something wrong you can see. From that, from that springs a tendency to want to back off from those things. Sort of like reject them, but maybe you can't, and it, and you struggle, and it gets worse. And you say, "Why am I getting worse by struggling? Because I don't want this stuff, but I'm 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 vomiting in my own beer, so to speak." So you have those machinations going on inside, but the but the agony is always increasing. The the, the the cry for the real answer, none of which is that, and you know it, but then you're stuck with it. Then comes a cry, which is voluntary. But you don't know what you're crying to. And some people don't need a Roy Masters. They suddenly wake up, and they are in this great agony, please, what, what, what do you want of me? And then in, a, in that agony, in the, unwi the unwillingness to do any more of those things, experiencing the agony increases the cry. See, if you don't, if you don't gratify, you have agony. And if you're, if you're not ready to experience agony, which is, is, a, is a, a good pain, you want a bad pleasure. <laughs> See, you got it backwards. Because the, the choice between good and evil, and when chosen, is always backwards. Because you don't know who, the good people are the bad ones because they support you wrong. <laughs> the bad people are the good ones who won't. <laughs> See? So nothing goes right for you. It's a, it's, it's, there's, it's, it's a mathematics, but it's a mathematics of gift. When you, and the mathematics of salvation works perfectly without flaw.